he is working in uh, lakshmi bai national college of physicalization that physical education that is in karivattam uh, trivandrum so after our marriage uh, we just uh, uh, see uh, uh, came here and i started uh, then uh, so i was an advocate okay. after that i uh, yeah yes yes after that i joined in techno park in a company called the timits an italian company okay and after that i joined in uh, naratal india as the assistant manager hr okay. then again i promoted as manager hr and my family i have a uh, son uh, his name is ganesham he is just completed his 12th okay and now he is preparing for exam say mm. entrance exam okay <laughs> great one uh, i think we are live um Sanjana, uh, can you confirm that we are live? Uh, I think it's a different YouTube link. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, okay, Aditi, you can start now. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome you all to the one twenty seventh episode of the Future Talks. One twenty seventh, uh, conducted by Priyana. You can join us. Us. Um. You can join us on YouTube link. Uh, YouTube link. YouTube link. Now let's have a look at the Prayana organization. I'm so sorry. Let's have a look at our Prayana organization. employability entrepreneurship and innovation ecosystem for women prayana labs career counseling training mentoring and recruiting services you can register you can register yourself by downloading the prayana app or you can visit our website to www.prayana.in now what are you waiting for just register your yeah, register yourself and create your profile Prayana Collective, India's first e-commerce platform dedicated to the empowerment of women, uniquely designed, attractive affiliated marketing model. All customers give given an opportunity for lifetime savings and earning. For interacting with us, you can post your queries on the YouTube uh, YouTube link in the live chat, and your questions will be answered by our speakers. a uh, guest a speaker for today is ms shabana devangar now let's have a look at a professional life ms shabana has done a bachelor's in law specializing in labor law from government law law college thrissur she has completed her mba from indira gandhi national open university she has also done her post graduation diploma in industrial relationship and personal management from annamalai university She started her career as an advocate in in a software company eating then she joined as manager in novatel she is currently heading in hr and admin department of novatel in trivandrum and bangalore plans she is also acting as a welfare officer handling the legal requirements with 16 years of experience I welcome you, Miss Shab uh, Shabana, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Aditi. So, the topic we are discussing today is how to overcome roadblocks to career. See, we can divide this uh, roadblocks as two. One is roadblocks to enter into a career, and the other one is roadblocks to stay back successfully in career. the first part of the session roadblocks to enter into a career is mainly for the students or for the job seekers who are planning to make an entry in the job let's discuss how we can avoid and overcome some roadblocks to career when you search for a job you need a resume how to draft an attractive resume is the question to start with you have to list down a number of things in this list you must compulsorily include your values your goals achievements skills you gathered experience you received from your academic life 
if we submit an official document to any firm for any purpose, as you know, a covering letter is very much necessary. So what is the covering letter? Cover letter is commonly submitted with the job application. Explain the applicant's credentials and interest in the position. A good cover letter complements the resume and explains why the candidate is the ideal person for the job. You can attach a covering letter with your resume. To prepare resume, different templates are available in website. You can use a good model for your resume or you can design it by your own. While preparing resume, as you know that, you should mention your name, contact information, email, phone number, address, and LinkedIn profile. You must need a LinkedIn profile. See, as you know that LinkedIn is an employment-oriented online service, and this platform is mainly used for professional networking and allows job seekers to post their CVs and employers to post jobs. Let's see the contents of resume. You can mention about the career objective, educational qualifications, the seminars you organized and attended, and then any internship experience you had or your work experiences, apprentice or training. You should clearly list out the key skills, both the interpersonal and technical gathered from your academic. Students in professional colleges uh, definitely gone through a number of seminars, uh, functions, uh, celebrations, etc. And you can mention the experiences you gathered by organizing or attending a seminar function in your college. If you are the leader in the organizing team, you can mention about the leadership skill you performed there as a team leader. You can mention the challenges faced during organizing the seminar. Your skill to complete it on time that your time managing skill that also can mention the how did you overcome the stress due to organizing can mention your creativity, problem solving skill, critical thinking skill, all you can mention with the help of picking seminar by bulletin points, nothing wrong in that. Remember, you are a fresher, not an experienced person. Coming to internship uh, or the project uh, done in the organization, uh, you can mention in detail about the internship period, the areas you covered, your other experience within the organization, and also the organization culture and values. And you can comment about the issues you found in the organization or in the concerned department. Based on your conclusions, you arrived at, you can prescribe your valuable recommendations or the solutions that you can mention in the resume. Try to uh, draft the resume as different from others. See, if you worked as an apprentice through apprenticeship program or worked as a trainee, you should mention the period with the details. Normally the Apprentices and trainees are performing the job responsibilities like the permanent employees, then nothing wrong to mention about the job responsibilities you performed in bulletin points. See, we, we all are living in a digital world. Artificial intelligence and machine learning occupied most of the man-made jobs in the organizations. So it's very important to mention about the courses you undergone in computer software. It's very important. See, please understand the resume is yours. It is the first impression about you. So design it mindfully and try to avoid over explaining, but mention the details with the precise and in an attractive way. So these are about the resume preparations. See, let's discuss about the different ways to express you before the interview board, the another talent you need to perform. You should keep an updated resume 
and all your certificates related with your qualification when you attending the interview. See, there are certain organizations sometimes ask you to fill up a reforma, which generally contains your personal information. So please keep a sheet which contains period of study, percentage of mark, your blood group, ADA number, passport number, and other details so that you can easily write it on the format they issue to you. Okay. There may be questions related to your expectation about salary in the format. See, as a fresher, it's not good to demand a sum. It will be more appealing if you say as per industry standards. You should behave in a disciplined manner while waiting for your turn because the organization may have an eye on you through the CCTV. Okay. See, as part of preparation for the interview, you need to collect the basic information regarding the organization in which you are appearing the interview. If questions asked about the organization, answer them only when you know the answer 100%. Never try to guess in such a situation. You can ask politely to the interview panel. As part of the preparation for the interview, you must prepare for a self-introduction because some organization may ask you to introduce yourself. In such occasion, you should be able to narrate the information regarding your identity, educational qualification, and family details, and your area of interest. You can also mention about your hobbies, if any. If your hobby is reading, you can expect a question about the book you read recently, or who is your favorite author, or your favorite book, so you may have to prepare accordingly. It's very important. If you mention in the CV about the seminars you attended, definitely you will get an opportunity to explain about it. You should be able to explain the takeaways from the seminar. So it's a golden opportunity for you because as I said earlier, see, you are a fresher. You have no work experiences. If you get a chance to explain about you or the seminars you attended or the courses you undergone, take this as an opportunity to express yourself in a uh, most efficient manner. You can expect questions related with your project or internship or apprenticeship training. That also an, an opportunity for you to express your skills like uh, communication skill, power of expression, your knowledge about the company and the work you performed. Here also you can expect a question related with the expected salary. It's a fresher you can say that. You have no specific demand, but you expect a decent salary based on the industry standards. Here also you can expect the question. So in the interview, please be there with a pleasant face. And uh, don't forget to take back the documents if you have given for verification to the interview board. Okay. See, if you are selected, you will definitely get an offer letter. Accept the offer only after checking all aspects of the job. It's most important. If it is absolutely necessary, you can ask for extension of joining date. See, in some organization, mostly in government organization or in the public sector, the date of joining is considered for your service seniority. In such cases, you should try to join as early as possible. But in the private sector, that is not much needed. Okay, But in the government sector, it's very important. So you should try to join as early as possible. Your knowledge about the point discussed so far and the timely decision and action will definitely make your entry to the firm easily. Okay. See, let's see how to overcome roadblocks to stay back successfully in career. That is different. Suppose if we list down the common roadblocks faced by a beginner, a fear of unknown that comes first. 
some of may have the fear of failure uncertainty very few may face the resistance to change lack of self confidence inability to withstand outside pressure and career expectations one should be able to overcome these roadblocks through a right approach to all these issues we can succeed through some awareness about the company and job see nothing is static in your job we should always prepared to face the changes that can happen at any time in your job sector if you are afraid of change you cannot grow reframing uncertainty as a new experience is part of growing and can help to take you to the next stage in your journey all of you have heard about the comfort zone right this comfort zone is a situation or a place you are performing your duties without facing any challenges or problems and you not at all under any pressure it's a good zone many of us would like to be in the comfort zone as i told you nothing is starting right now we may be in a comfort zone but any time new challenges and demands may come up now the question is are you afraid to get out of the comfort zone perhaps past negative experiences or setbacks have made you more risk hostile that means you are afraid of taking risk in your career you can face ups and downs sanna white it's important to have a healthy tolerance of ups and downs of challenges and mistakes so if you have any limiting beliefs and self defeating thoughts that prevent you from making the changes you need to make a life coach can help you to shift your thinking that's also very important you can approach a life coach you should be confident in discharging your duties you will be confident only when you are thorough knowledge with the rules and regulations regulations sorry regulations of the organization apart from this clarity about your job responsibilities and the authority the company interested on you also will enhance your confidence in discharging your duties in case of any doubts it's always better to clarify from your superiors in the organization there will be plenty of obstacles in your workplace my advice is consider these obstacles as opportunities for example how we can turn the obstacles into opportunities i can tell you about this with an example from my company my company want to restructure the salary of employees while working on this we also decided to revise the target of employees is a very natural reaction from the employees while welcoming the salary restructuring they opposed the newly set target their points for argument was that they had they have some extra works to perform like uh, picking the materials collecting the trolley and so on while addressing their opposition on the newly set target we could able to avoid unnecessary waste of time by some arrangements that used to bring down the production targets of the employees which in turn help to improve manpower utilization in our company and as an employee you should be able to withstand outside pressures and expectations much more there is no right or wrong way to live or work but many people feel they have to meet society's expectations their family's beliefs or someone else idea of what they should or should not be doing cultivate a mindful attitude 
to increase your self-awareness and recognize the blocks to living your idle life. Please be open to new possibilities and a brighter future. If you have to complete multiple tasks, you may be tempted to apply a quick fix. Well, we are using that. Of course, you can finish it, but uh, that can cause the problem to come back. So do not take shortcuts. Take time to really think about the obstacle. Figure out the causes, the factors surrounding it, and all the possible solutions. It's better to work slowly and surely when it comes to overcoming career obstacles. And then we can ask others for directions. If you have no clarity, you can ask for advice from your superior, your colleagues or friends. They might have different ideas and perspectives about the matter. The another problem I can see is that when you are facing a difficult career challenge, it's easy to lose sight of your long-term goals. You must keep your eyes on the big picture always. Remind yourself why you are doing or what you are doing. Take a moment to visualize the dream you are uh, working toward. The another point I wish to uh, tell you that uh, ego clash with your superior officers. This ego clash with your superior officers won't help you. You should avoid it at any cost because it leads to stop your communication with your manager. That will definitely affect the work. It will affect the harmony in the department. It goes to stress among the teammates. So this type of ego clash should be avoided. See, the next time you found yourself in the middle of your career journey and you hit a bump in the road, pause and breathe. Take one step after another. And even though the battle may be long, you can be sure that overcoming roadblocks in your career is underway. This is all about what I wanted to communicate to you. Thanks to all. And uh, you can ask any questions to me. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, Aditi. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, she's not available, I think. Yes, Deepa. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Shabana, ma'am. Uh, Lakshmi, your sound is a little bit low. Uh, can you speak up? Is it okay, ma'am? Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, ma'am, uh, I'm Lexi. Yeah. Okay. I have certain uh, questions. Uh, like, um, thank you for the session, first of all. Because uh, you have been, and it's a great pleasure to have such a wonderful person to have meet and also being shared a lot of things from you. Actually, I am also a career break woman, so there are a lot of blocks also we have been uh, faced. Yeah. And uh, first question is like this. Lack of experience in the field to impede the flow of profession. How can someone who has been on career break overcome this hindrance, like a career break woman? Uh... Can you say once more? Lack of experience? In the field. Yeah. Indeed, the flow of their profession, no? Ah. How can someone who has been on a career break overcome this hindrance? How can they? I couldn't get you clearly. Some disturbance is... Hello? Hello? 
wrong, ma'am? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. I could I couldn't get you clearly. Okay. How can someone on a career break overcome this hindrance? Hmm. For a career break woman, how lack of experience, no work experience, they have a break in their career, and so how can able to uh, recover? See, it's 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 not a big thing now. See, we have uh, uh, see a lot of online platforms are uh, now the women can do their uh, see uh, the work, uh, from work uh, from their home only, and uh, see uh, it's it's a natural see natural thing that uh, see uh, compared with the the male employees the female employees they need to take a break for the uh, marriage or for the delivery so a lot of uh, uh, things it it may happen in uh, for all the uh, female uh, employees so it's not a big thing. it's not a big thing i think but uh, at the same time if you are sitting in the home you can uh, improve your uh, you can go for any courses uh, or can you you can improve your your uh, strength and your abilities by doing some courses and all so uh, in in my organization what we are we are giving such a uh, discount to the ladies okay so that that will uh, never affect you see because it's 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 a truth that these ladies should uh, uh, take a break uh, for this uh, uh, marriage or for the delivery or for sometimes they may have to take care of the in-laws mm? yeah so the uh, so you should be update always you should be update uh, that is uh, uh, the if if you are working as a software engineer you can uh, update your knowledge to the new languages or uh, that that is not a big issue i feel now and you can uh, uh, do the work from your home okay uh, the second question thank you ma'am and the second question is like this uh, how to overcome the fear of failure if one has to start or restart their career no that it is lot of uh, expectation there will be a failure they will they may they may be facing no so fear of failure how one can able to overcome it? if fear fear of failure that is see um you uh, lot of we can expect a lot of obstacles Uh, and uh, we are always uh, fear that i cannot do that huh? so you please treat these obstacles as opportunities in your life huh? and you should uh, uh, why should be fear about all these things should be confident about to improve your self confidence and uh, you should be uh, you, you should use your time to study more about Uh, uh the things in the uh, related with your job description and you should uh, make it very clear about the job respons responsibilities so nothing i think uh, uh, you can easily come out from the fear of failure if you have the self confidence so try to improve the self confidence try to um, gather more informations uh, try to um, know more about your job responsibilities and uh, uh, always you should be th you should have thorough knowledge about your job job responsibilities policies and uh, 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 rules and regulations of the companies then you can be self confident that is i am confident i can do this then you can practice uh, some um, uh, yogas and all to improve your concentration power and all and if you needed you can approach a, a life coach that is the life coaches are the professional people uh, they can help you very well okay and uh, the next thank you ma'am uh, for the next question is like this how to get the clarity to choose one's own career you have been you have been uh, told that superiors we have to discuss with our superiors no yes uh, then anything anything more than that is required see uh, you are talking about the ego clashes with the superior no ma'am it's about clarity of the, about one's own career to take yes a... see during induction time you will get an opportunity to study the things well this induction training period 
so in my company we uh, uh, our induction training period is for 3 months so during this period you will get enough opportunity to uh, gather the knowledge or you 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 can get an opportunity to meet your superior i mean the manager and you uh, in, in in this induction period you should gather all the informations or uh, see about your work or about the company or the existing rules and regulations of the company i say everything uh, you can you can study well uh, during this uh, induction period and uh, see try to keep a good rapport with your superior officer if there is some ego clashes with your manager or the superior definitely it will cause some trouble to you and the manager and to the department and sometimes it may spread to the company also okay. so uh, keep keep a good relationship with the superior officer avoid the ego clashes respect the superior respect the manager if you want to tell him something you just uh, see um, your body language and manners mannerisms are most important if you are in a strange body language or uh, in a see then uh, in a arrogant behavior and all then definitely uh, he will get irritated so be cool and be cool, deal the see i th- i think uh, you can you people can easily come out of all these road roadblocks huh? see if you uh, see the first important thing is the self confidence self confidence should make you uh, do anything under the sun so you should clear knowledge about your work about the company about the policies about the uh, requirements of the other departments about the requirements of your manager of your other superior offices then why should you worry about it nothing in that so you uh, if you cannot uh, if you can't able to manage all these things then definitely you will take the help of the life coach so for me uh, in my career uh, see i can i could easily come out of, of all these things okay uh, hi shabana ma'am i i yeah. would like to uh, add on to that uh what you just said it sometimes it's not only the ego issues of the supervisor sometimes there are issues between your peers as well you know yes. the people who are of the same batch who have joined together in a team sometimes you face issues with them as well somebody wants to take the leadership and take all the credit and all you know mm. those kind of issues are also very yes. common place in yes. organization right yes. so uh you know from my experience what i have learned is uh keep an open communication with the team yes. as well as with your supervisor so that yes. everybody knows the value that you are putting into the organization so that nobody else takes the credit for what you do if you you know hold back and uh, you just keep quiet you know others will just you know move ahead and uh, you will start feeling frustrated that i am not getting enough recognition so open communication is one thing that uh, yes, yes. i think yeah pressures and every career woman should uh, you know focus on you know uh, uh, for freshers and for women who are coming back after a break they tend to have low self confidence so they don't uh, they find it a little bit intimidating to speak up right so yes. that fear they have to overcome that yeah <laughs> exactly thank you okay that's all uh, i think the questions is somewhat over i guess uh lakshmi uh, there are some more questions on the chat uh, can you please read them out as well thank you sorry ma'am ma'am uh yes on the zoom call chat there are some questions
man likes to be able to find out what the water sits at or uh lakshmi you are not audible uh, are you having issues um, shall i read out the questions then yeah ma'am okay uh uh, okay, Ms. Shabana, uh, there are yeah. uh, a couple of questions that have been asked. Uh, one is from the live uh, uh, link. Uh, there is this question on, uh, hello, please give some tips on making a good positive impression during an interview. Good positive interaction. Yes, In I uh, see. Impression. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I got it. See, as I told that, uh, see, as a fresh, it's for the fresher, Precious or uh, for uh, all? Uh, I think it's a general question. General uh, questions, yeah. right? See, see, uh, you can uh, you can talk about the points you mentioned in the resume first. So that's why I told you. See, your resume is the most important thing, and uh, uh, so based on the resume, so you can expect all questions from the interview board. I can explain, uh, see, uh, I can here explain my experience when I uh, attended interview in Bremos Aerospace. That is the position of a, a senior manager HR. And see, uh, eight people are there in the interview board. Eight people. In the middle, the chairman, and here for three, and here three. So I have to satisfy this eight people, okay? And I, I am getting a lot of questions from the, from the people. One is asking about the uh, anti-sexual harassment policy. One is asking about the standing order. One is asking about the uh, factories act and all. So, uh, so then, see, it's, it, I, I'm really uh, excited. I was really excited at that time. Because, uh, see, I'm very confident about uh, the topics and my subjects. And what happened is that uh, after a, uh, after some time, the chairman he started to interact with me. He started to he started to post in uh, the things like uh, see uh, at that time I was uh, uh, acting as the uh, complaints committee uh, chairman in the uh, uh, I mean in the push committee. So he asked me uh, he asked me about the uh, what are the uh, complaints the nature of complaints you received from your uh, employees how did you uh, say solve it. So I got an opportunity to explain it more. And the other things, uh, how, how, how did you uh, manage the, uh, your uh, uh, things? Uh, see, if uh, an employee, uh, he asked me a wonderful question, like if an employee, he has uh, uh, a 12 casual leave with him and he took only the two leaves, then what you will do? He is uh, asking for the next eight leave to carry for next year. What you will do? Then I cannot, I cannot give that. Then he asked me, why? Because it's lapsed as per the leave rules of the company, that that will be lapsed. Then he said, no, I want it. It's my right. Then I told him, it is not your right. The leave is not the right of, uh, it's not the right of the employee. It is the discretion of the management. So you see, um, you can make it in more uh, interested way and interactive way. Uh, for that, you should have enough knowledge about your subjects or what you mentioned in the resume. All questions will be based on the resumes. That is most important. If you uh, mention your responsibilities at bulletin points there or your uh, experience in your current company or the job responsibilities, definitely you will ask questions and you will get an opportunity to explain more, more and more. So you can explain it by uh, uh, telling uh, some incident happened in the company and your contributions to the company and your uh, role in some audits, uh, inspection, et cetera, et cetera. So you can, you can make it more, uh, I, mean, I think, uh, active. So interaction is, but you should, as I always said, you should have the enough knowledge about the uh, uh, subject you are dealing or uh, about your job description, about your job responsibilities. Okay. Exactly, ma'am. I totally agree there. That is um, where, uh, like you said, 
the interviewers will be asking you questions based on what you have written in your resume yes so unless you have actually worked on that particular internship or uh, you know whichever area unless you have undertaken that particular training you know don't even put that in the resume because that is the risk yes If exactly you exactly you are not able to explain that gives a negative impression that you are faking something right deba deba let me let me share my experience when i conducted hr executive position uh, interview for the position of hr executive for our bangalore plant one guy his resume was highly attractive highly attractive he just mentioned all the points by bulletimers and i i was i was really impressed but you know during interview he was not able to uh, tell even uh, see something about the recruitment <laughs> so i was shocked then i i asked him why why did you uh, write uh, all these things here that man finally i questioned him many times and the, then finally he told that the man uh, i'm really sorry because uh, uh, i had seen your uh, uh, the profile the profile of the job and uh, i prepared my resume based on that so it was a lie uh, so uh, i got irritated and but i advised him not to do this hmm? so a lot of uh, 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 see the people are like that uh, some uh, some some may do like this so we should be more careful about it to ask the questions from the resume exactly that is uh, that is the advice that i would also like to give to mentees uh, unless you are sure of something don't just put in stuff in your resume just yes. to impress your potential employer because they can see through all these uh, fake things right even if your mm-hmm. resume is interesting when they start asking you questions you will be caught red handed and that's going to create a negative impression so yes, yes. i would advise if you are a fresher just be open about it that i just yeah. finished my college i don't have experience i am starting out fresh so if you are fresh is can the the fresh is can uh, start for a conversation or an interaction with the interview board like uh, they, while they are explaining about their apprenticeship or the internship then they will get an opportunity to uh, uh, interact with the uh, interview board so they can just uh, express their uh, uh, see the interpersonal skills like the, their communication skill everything that they will get an opportunity so that's why i told uh, all the uh, students that you please mention your internship period and point out all the uh, duties you uh, i mean uh, uh, the work you done there in the organization definitely you will get an opportunity to show your talents there your skills there thank you so much ma'am for answering the questions that's all from uh, me right now okay Yeah, thank you, thank you, Diba. Thank you, Prayana. Thank you, uh, Mr. Pad. Diba, you share feedback, post, and comment on the YouTube channel. All the yeah. links, um, like uh, for advertisement and sponsorship, you have to uh, you have to mail for us as as join Prayana at gmail dot com. And thank you for the nice session. this was uh, your first session i think at future docs and we are hoping some more sessions uh, to have a great discussion with you ma'am and uh, thank you for the team uh, like um, aditi and diva ma'am and all the crew who have been uh, participated in this as a great success and also viewers also thanking you for making this as a wonderful session for all of us Okay, thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank, thank you. you thank you everyone yeah. thank you shabab thank, thank, thank you thank you from you yeah thank you have more thank sessions you. from you in the future yes okay <laughs> yeah okay deep thank you everyone have, okay good have, night good have night have a good evening everyone okay bye bye